Final days now, the so-called Fitbit murder trial of Richard DeBate. The defense called their final witness today. Soon it will be up to the jury to decide if he's guilty of killing his wife. News 8's Evan Zamaris has the latest from Rockville Superior Court. Both the defense and the state have had the opportunity to call witnesses to the stand, and now they're moving on to closing arguments. They're going to present their case one final time in front of the jury. After five weeks of listening to testimony, looking at evidence, and peeling back the layers of this case, the Fitbit murder trial of Richard DeBate is wrapping up. A lot of evidence, hundreds of exhibits, tons of things to sift through. DeBate's defense team and the state will give closing arguments next week, and then the jury starts their deliberations. I'm very happy that we finally get the opportunity on Monday that I get to argue Rick's case. DeBate's been accused of killing his wife Connie back on December 23, 2015, inside their Ellington home. But he claims she was shot to death by an intruder. He's free on a $1 million bond. The jury is now tasked with reviewing each charge and making a determination on all three murder, tampering with evidence, and making a false statement. Over the course of this trial, we've heard from the defendant himself, investigators on this case, family members, neighbors, and experts, including a doctor who broke down the data from Connie's Fitbit activity tracker, which provided critical information about her movements that day. On Friday, the defense's final witness was a woman who was cleaning a house nearby the debates when this all unfolded. She recounted seeing something that was dark green and very large run by the window. While she couldn't say if it was a person or an animal, the defense used her testimony to support debate's claim an intruder ran from their house wearing all camouflage. But the state said the home had film on the windows, which can cause an odd reflection, saying what she saw could have been anything. They asked, it could have been you in a reflection, in which she replied, yeah. Those closing arguments are going to be taking place first thing Monday morning. At Rockville Superior Court, I'm Eva Zamaris, News 8.